Hello and welcome. It is your friendly neighborhood Warlock Gubstep here with another add-on video. Today we'll be reviewing how to set up Trade Skill Master, commonly referred to as TSM, to track prices on your realm and create listings for you based on the current pricing data. This video will assume you already have a few things. First, you'll need to head over to TradeSkillMaster.com and make an account. Download their desktop application that automatically updates region and realm pricing. To select specific realm pricing, go to the TSM site, hover over your name, app configuration, and then realm selection. Add your realm from the list provided at the bottom of the page. The desktop application will update automatically as it runs in the background. You will need the following add-ons. You can get all of them from Curse. Trade Skill Master, Trade Skill Master App Helper, Trade Skill Master Auction DB, Trade Skill Master Auctioning, and Trade Skill Master Shopping. These are the components we will be working with today. They have lots of other individual add-ons for mailing, crafting, accounting, and more. You can take a look at those if you decide you want to expand the functionality of TSM. Now once you have all that installed, make sure the desktop app is running in the background and log in to WoW. Once you're in, type forward slash TSM to bring up the add-on menu. At the top, you'll see a few options. The first thing we'll be working with is the Operations tab. I want to stress that TSM is a huge add-on with lots of functionality. So if you feel overwhelmed, take a break and come back. Not going anywhere. The Operation tab stores pricing data for the auctions you are posting. So if you want to post flasks at a different price than mounts, you can create different operations to do so. This will make more sense once we create our first operation. Type in the operation name and hit enter. I'll just name mine General. In the General tab for operations, we have three options we can select. Stack size, which means the operation will ignore all other stack size besides what you're posting at the time. So if someone has a different price for a single item and you're only selling stacks of 20, their item will not be taken into account when TSM is calculating who to undercut on the auction house. Ignore low duration auction, similar premise as the match stack size, it will ignore auctions that are almost out of time. Finally, blacklisted players. Some players will intentionally spam single stacks of an item in an attempt to bring down the price of a certain good. Don't fall victim to this. You can blacklist them or adjust other operation settings to avoid posting goods altogether when the price is that low. Head over to the post tab now. This is the meat and potatoes of TSM and where the magic happens. Select the duration of how long you want to post your items. Post cap means you can post X amount of auctions, so let's say I have 7 items in my bag, but my post cap is 5. It will only create 5 auctions, leaving 2 in my bags to be sold later. Stack size is pretty self-explanatory. What is the stack size you want to post at? Clicking allow partial stack allows you to go below this. Say you have 23 items, you define your stack size at 20. Checking allow partial stack size would create one auction of 20 and the other auction of 3. Keep quantity is a real nifty feature. Say you're selling flasks, but you want to keep 20 flasks for yourself for rating and other various activities. Simply set keep quantity to 20. By default, this only checks your inventory, but you can include your bank or guild bank in the drop down box next to it. Max expires is a really cool feature. Say you post an auction and it expires three times, no one bought it. TSM will not post this item anymore if the value was set to three. This is nice so you don't keep wasting gold trying to get rid of low cost items that you would normally consider vendoring. Now here's the most awesome feature about TSM, posting price settings. Bid percent means what percentage of your buyout do you want to set your bid price at. If this was set to 50% and I posted something for a 100 gold buyout, the bid price would be 50 gold. Usually I just leave this at 100%. Undercut amount is how much you want to undercut your competitor by. Usually I leave this at 1 copper, but some people prefer to change it to 1 silver or some other arbitrary value. 
Now our pricing data comes in handy. The minimum price you want to post your auction at. If we check the tooltip for our Flask of the Whispered Pack we'll be selling, we can see it's around 250 gold for the lowest buyout currently, but the market value is 203 gold. So if we set our minimum price to 90% of the DB market value, the lowest possible price we could sell our flask for is around 183 gold per flask based on our settings. But since the lowest buyout right now is around 250 gold, it will undercut our competitor by our undercut amount, which for me is one copper. You can get real crafty with these pricing algorithms, but for the purpose of this video, we'll keep it simple. Maximum price I usually set to double my minimum price, so this will be 180% of the DB market value. Normal price I usually set at 100% DB market. It's very important to understand what's going on here with the pricing data. The TSM app you downloaded is running in the background, grabbing pricing data specific to your realm and region, then feeding that information to the add-on you have installed in-game. DB Market is referring to the database of the pricing for your realm. In my case, that would be Tachondrius. So our minimum price is set to 90% of the amount that the item is going for normally on Tachondrius. The drop-down boxes below specify not to post items if they're below this amount. When above maximum, I usually select post at maximum price. Now this doesn't mean that it will always post at maximum price if there's someone posted above normal price, but below our maximum price set. It will undercut that person instead. Now there's one more tab we need to review here. We won't be covering resets or relationships in this video, but we will cover the cancel tab. TSM has the ability to scan all of your auctions and detect whether you've been undercut or not. It will also scan if auctions below and or above yours have been bought or expired, leaving you to cancel and post at a higher price. Now at the top of TSM, hit the groups button. This is where you'll define which items you want to sell with the operation we just created. We'll name our group general. Don't worry about the group filter value, that's if you want TSM to not show items above or below a certain value in this group. We'll just call this group name general. We'll add our flask of the whispered pack to our group items or whatever you're doing this with. Head over to the operations tab for our group. Operation number one will select our general operation that we just created. Now we are ready to see the fruit from our labor. Head over to the auction house. You'll notice three new tabs at the bottom of your auction house. Auction DB, Shopping, and Auctioning. Since we downloaded the TSM app earlier, there's no need to worry about the Auction DB tab. This just searches the auction house and creates a database of the current items, which is already done way more efficiently by the desktop app. Click the Auctioning tab, select the general group we just created, and hit Start Post Scan. It will then scan the auction house for those items, compare the prices, and if it's within your parameters set earlier, it will ask you to post those items. That's how you post items. Now let's see how we cancel items that have been undercut. Select the group you want to scan, and click Start Cancel Scan. If any of your items have been undercut, then it will tell you, and you can hit the cancel button to cancel the auction. Now we'll just touch quickly on the shopping tab. This is a replacement for the standard auction house searching. It stores recent searches and you can set favorite searches. Now what's cool about this interface is when you go to search for something, it will scan each page and then show up with all the items on one screen, show you the market value of those items, and if people flooding the auction house with really small stacks, but at a decent price, you can quickly and easily buy them all. That's it for today's video. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more content by me, be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button. I will see you next video.